with a sort of um, with the front of selling farm machinery. Um, right. And, 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 and just so our viewers understand, this is a this is a mini series that uh, that's you right. and Tom Hiddleston uh, are appearing on uh, the Night Manager. The it's Night Manager on AMC. On AMC. On AMC. Yeah. And uh, and the spy novel of Mr. Lecarre is very unique. It's not the Fleming style. It's not even the American that's right. style. That's it's, right. It's got its own sort of vibe. But a lot of other writers have followed his path. I think the thing is, he, as, as he's confessed, was in what he calls the circus himself. Right. Uh, he knows the trade. And I think all of his novels are uh, inhabited by protagonists, by heroes who are haunted by an, a moral ambivalence, an awareness of the fact that sometimes you're called upon to do bad things for the greater good. And I think uh, any citizen is interested in that dichotomy, that idea that you might in order to serve a higher cause, you might have to do something which you're not particularly proud of. Right. Um, do, you, do you like playing anti-heroes? Sort of the, 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 I mean, it, that's always an interesting question because you, there are a lot of characters that people, for example, you're, I, this is the dork in me, the fanboy in me, okay. play Loki in the Thor movies and in the Avenger yeah. movies. Um, clearly, I mean, most people, at least in the comic books, Loki's a bad guy. Yeah. Uh, Captain America, he's a good guy. Right? Definitely. But in this, the, the Night Manager, there's some ambiguity to the things that your character is doing, the things that he, and the reasons why he's doing them. Do you like yeah. that ambiguity in a character? Well, I, I was interested in the courage it takes. Um, was that in order to infiltrate the crew of this very bad man, he has to do some very bad things himself to gain his trust. Um, and I think there's always a question. There's a question in every, you know, in the exercising of any power, you have, there's, a, there's always a question of responsibility about how that power is exercised. Um, and I think Le Carre is always asking that in a very interesting, a very personal way. So you are watching the state of our elections. Uh, I am. But also this is President Obama's final White House Correspondents Dinner Associa Association Dinner. Um, are you expect This is your first time here. Yeah. Are you expecting some good jokes? I am. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I am a visitor to your fine nation, so I'm very happy to be here. And, and um, I do. I'm a. I'm a fan of his. I think he's a. He's ob obviously has an extraordinary mind. Um, um, many, many people have strong opinions about his time in office and how um, effective his decisions have been. Um, but I still think his mind is, is, was always a visionary one in a political context. Um, and he's such a fantastic actor as well. I mean, he's a, he has this beautiful comic timing in occasions like this. And I think, I think he'll probably unleash a bit. I think he'll... Um, how is he regarded that? Um, with, with great respect um, and admiration. I remember, actually, the night he was elected. Um, I was in a play at the time. We all stayed up, watched the election results come in. And it felt like a, a huge change in the world, you know. Staying up late. One, <laughs> one not so hard question. Okay. When you were a young British boy, did you have such an adorable robe like um, the little prince does? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a British thing? Did you wear robes as a small child? <laughs> I must have had something like that, yeah. Um, like a sort of towning dressing there... gown. I think his is probably nicer than mine. Not that mine was bad. My parents loved me very much. Um, but not quite as posh. But probably wasn't as posh as that, yeah. Um, so, I, again, I, I'm a huge dork, and I, and, and we know that Daniel Craig is James Bond, but would you like to play James Bond? Would that be something you could see yourself doing? The thing is, the position is not vacant. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know that I can answer that question until it is. I also think it's one of those things you don't ever get to say out loud or it will never come true. Maybe, right? maybe so. <laughs> Thank you, Tom Middleton. It's so great to meet you, man. I can't wait to see what Loki does next. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you very much. Enjoy the evening. Thanks for talking to us. I appreciate it. Thank you. That was really cool. Tom Middleton came over and he spoke with us. I'm actually a big fan of him.